Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Carol Dow and I am an international healer. Um, what does that mean? I, I heal people and in whatever modality or form or fashion they need healing. Um, I am able to pull from the different modalities that I am versed in and I'm able to assist in um, the releasement of the turmoil in someone's soul. Let it be from this life, from a past life, let it be from a spirit attachment, demonic attachment, let it be from soul fragmentation to soul retrieval. I have the abilities to um, tap into somebody and figure it out on an esoteric field, so metaphysical planes. And I was thinking about um, the cleansing of the third eye this morning um, after I was speaking with a group of people um, about astral traveling. I have the ability to astral travel on command now, and I'm able to visit certain people around the world. It doesn't matter where you are, and I could hug you in my energy if I if I wanted to. And um, to some people that might sound off or weird, uh, some, some scary, it's scary that I'm able to enter your bedroom or apartment when you are there and I could touch you. Yeah. And um, I, you know, all the things that I, I do at this, um, in this moment in my life, they're all extrasensory abilities I've always had. And um, the last five years, I've been tapping more into my um, metaphysical state to hone my gifts. And a little background about me, I used to be a mortgage banker uh, for about 14 years. I was really successful at that, but on a 3D level, that was great and dandy, but um, it wasn't fulfilling my soul and it wasn't my purpose. So this morning I was talking about astral traveling and how I, um, I, I can leave my body on command, my soul. And um, now I'm trying to portal hop. And I know this is, it's so left field. There is, how, how? Um, it's, it's a muscle. Like it's you, if you want to do anything, you can put your mind to it and you can do it. You just exercise it as if you were going to the gym every day. My gym is a spiritual esoteric gym. And this is what I've been doing. And um, I taught myself remote viewing also before I even knew what remote viewing was, I was able to see into people's homes and, and tap into their, what they were wearing, just things like that. So I wanted to share with you how I cleanse my third eye. And um, your third eye is located right in right in the middle of your forehead, right above your eyebrows. It's your pineal gland, and um, and this is where I see my visions. Uh, and so, a lot of you may know about clairvoyancy. I actually have a, m most of the clairability. So I'm clairvoyant, clairaudient, claircognizant, clairsentient, clairgustant. I can smell the dead, and it's these these gifts. I didn't. Think they were gifts before i um, pushed them away and i closed that door and five years ago they opened it, the door opened and it was i surrendered to it and here we are now so welcome and um so i what i do to cleanse my third eye is i take a deep breath in through my nose i hold my breath and then when i breathe out, I breathe out and focus on my third eye and I allow the energy and my breath to, to open up and clear the pathway if there's anything blocking my third eye. And um, so, uh, so we'll do this exercise together. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and do it. So first and foremost, go ahead and sit in a comfortable and safe position where you can close your eyes. Um, we, we're going to go for four deep breaths and then you can go ahead and repeat that set. Um, this is just for an exercise to show you. And then I'll show you what I do afterwards. This is very, very important in your spiritual hygiene. Your spiritual hygiene is similar to your personal hygiene. So are you brushing your teeth every day? Are you taking a shower every day? I know some women, we don't, we don't wash our hair every day, but 
you know, do you cleanse your body every day? Do you make sure that you are in a clean state on your outer field? Um, this is just cleansing your inner state. This is your inner soul. And, 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 and clearing your third eye is a part of your spiritual hygiene. This is just a fragment of it. And are you meditating? Are you tapping into your inner self? Are you hearing your truth? Do you know your truth? Like there's so many different layers and levels. Are you doing a cleansing practice every day to make sure that you don't have any attachments, that you don't have any fragments of somebody else? Are you spiritually discerning from lower and higher? Yes or, or no, left to right. Are you able to discern the truth? Are you able to discern your truth to see the truth? Like these are just different layers and every single day, go to, to your esoteric gym, make it yours. This is what I've been doing uh, personally every single day for five years. And if it's not meditation, it's astral traveling. If it's not um, remote viewing, if it's, it, it's, 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 like it's writing, it's, it's just tapping in, it's honing my intuition, it's following my, you know, inner GPS and allowing it to lead me to the safest places around the world, which I have done in different countries. And I'm in the state of flow right now. And in the state of flow, everything aligns and I trust and have faith. And I know that everywhere that I go, as long as I am tapped and tuned into me and to source, I know exactly where to go. If you are not familiar with this, I mean, try it in, in very safe and familiar places. I have done this in, in remote places and countries around the world by myself. And, um, and it, they've always panned out to, to um, a higher level ascension for me. So how, how I clear my third eye, let us begin. So go ahead and take a, you know, a nice deep breath in to close your eyes, to ground yourself, and then just let out that breath, just let it all go, tapping in to yourself. So here we go. So go ahead and take a nice deep breath in through your nose. As you inhale, just inhale, love. One, two, three, four, five. Holding the breath. And as you exhale, go ahead and exhale and focus out into your third eye. Focus and exhale out in your third eye. Two, three, four. Go ahead and just ground yourself center and then roll your shoulders back. Go ahead and sit up a little bit higher. Let's do that again. Go ahead and just inhale in on the count of four. One, two, three, four. Holding the breath. And then exhale out, focus on the third eye. Focus, focus, exhale out of your third eye. One, two, three, four, good. Go ahead and roll the shoulders back, sit up a little higher, chin slightly tucked into your chest, good. Let's do that again. Go ahead and inhale in to the count of four. One, two, three, four, holding the breath. And as you exhale out, exhale out and breathe out through your third eye, two, three, four, clearing it. Good, good. Still sitting up in that beautiful position. One last time, go ahead and just inhale in. One, two, three, four, holding your breath. and then exhale out. Go ahead and just clear it out. Breathe, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. And good. And as you sit there, 
Just allow yourself to be in that state of being. And what I do is I would repeat this. I would repeat it one or two more times just to clear it out. And then so now go ahead and just slightly open your eyes. Just gently open your eyes. And I take my dominant hand. I take the palm of my dominant hand. Um, so mine's right. And what I do is I place it right in front of my third eye about maybe half an inch, an inch in front. And I allow the energy from my palm to connect to my third eye. You can feel it. And once you do, you pull. You pull the remnants of whatever it may be from the dust to any cords or strings, any, any, any type of um, blockage, you pull. You pull and you pull and you release. What I do um, after that is I take my palms and I shake them. I shake through my physical body and I shake the things that may have attached to me or um, they are uh, like just uh, kind of dust particles on my body, but we're talking in a more esoteric field. And it's the invisible body that we don't see with our physical eyes. So I shake, I shake my hands out in front of me. And I usually just, it's usually me stand, if I'm, if I'm in a chair, I stand up and I shake my entire body. Um, a lot of times too, because I have wood floors, I, you know, I stand on the wood floors and I imagine my uh, feet chakra, they open up, roots are, are gripping down into the wood floors and, um, and then I, I shake my body out um, as my, my feet are grounded. Uh, grounding is a huge part of also uh, your spiritual hygiene as um, the spiritual side, the invisible world is very easily uh, a world that we can get lost in if you are not grounded because we live in the physical world. We are here in the 3D world and we cannot just slide on over and be 100% over in the um, in the invisible world because that a lot of times, if you are too open of a channel, if you are too open of a conduit, um, things, you it flows in and out. And unfortunately, people can uh, lose themselves in, in these states. And so I shake my body, I shake my hands and I shake my body. And I take a couple of deep breaths and also, um, depending, I'll sage myself or light a stick of Palo Santo and, you know, say a prayer. But this is how I cleanse my third eye. This is how I cleanse one sliver of a part of my esoteric spiritual self. And it's, it's, um, it's very important if you are awakening and in your own, uh, and you are becoming conscious of of the truth around you to um, continue to cleanse yourself and not only your physical body, but also our inner soul. And as dust collects in a home, it also can uh, collect over our shiny soul. And so the job, your job is to shine your soul. Your job is to continue to cleanse your soul. And um, from that, you're able to see truth. You're able to, to, to um, discern between higher and lower vibrations. You're able to discern um, from, from what someone's telling you versus what your vibration is telling you. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I, I, will, I think I'm going to start doing more videos like this because um, uh, a lot of people have asked me my own practices of what I do. And um, since I've been working by word of mouth for five years, and I think it's just, it, this is just calling to me to share my life with you guys and who I am and what I can do and to, to show you um, my tricks and trades 
so that can help you on your ascension and spiritual journey. So I thank you so much for watching and I wish you all so much, so, so much, so, so many blessings from my humble abode in Eastern Europe. Be well and safe. Namaste.